talked about all the things that God wishes for us, what He wants for us. And this one today is that His wish for us, His want from us, is our worship. Let's look at Matthew 2, and let's see how that takes place. Matthew 2, beginning with verse 1. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem, in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi, or wise men, came to Jerusalem from the east, and they asked, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star in the east, and we have come to worship him. When the king heard this, he was disturbed, and all Jerusalem with him. When he had called together all the people's chief priests and teachers of the law, he asked them where the Christ was to be born. In Bethlehem, in Judea, they replied, for this is what the prophet has written. And then just a little footnote there, what they did is they turned to the, what we would call the Old Testament book of Micah, and they found in the fifth chapter this prophecy written 700 years before this moment is taking place. And that scripture says, But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For out of you will come a ruler who will be the shepherd of my people Israel. So Bethlehem is about six miles from Jerusalem where this is taking place. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and found out from them the exact time the star had appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and make a careful search for the child. As soon as you find him, report to me, so that I too may go and worship him. After they heard the king, they went on their way. And the star they had seen in the east went ahead of them, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, of incense or frankincense, and of myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to their country by another route. Well, as we begin, I want to ask you a little simple question here. What was the greatest of the gifts that the wise men brought to Jesus? Myrrh, gold, frankincense, but the answer is worship. It says in, in verse uh, 12, and it's important that they open their treasures, but notice, before they open their treasures, it says they open their heart. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with the gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. But I thought, what a beautiful thing that is, that really the first thing God wants, and the thing that he always wants, is our heart of worship. You know, we do all the other outward stuff, we do it kind of a mechanical roadway thinking that somehow is making God happy. No, he wants the heart. He wants our worship. 